I am going to explain how to synthesize this S rank monster very early in the game, step by step. At any point, you can stop and already have an extremely powerful monster and come back to it later. If you get stuck on a step or you need to find the monster, just hit pause, come back to this video. I'm going to go through everything you need to know. The first monster we're going to obtain is an exoskeleton. This is a very simple synthesis to make. You need a beast and a material type where either of them are a G rank. Use them together and you will have an exoskeleton. But if you're far enough in the game, these do spawn naturally, so it will be easier for you to grab one that way. Let's continue on. The next monster you will need is a Leary Lout. These are available very early on in the game, and I recommend at this point that you capture two of them. You will see them just in the first couple areas. You're going to want them because you're going to need them for multiple crafts, so make sure you just catch them. Do not bother synthesizing them, in my opinion. If you want to, you can do a demon and a material, uh, either G rank, but honestly, just grab this. It's very early. You are going to need to acquire a bag o laps. This is going to be a slime type with a material, and either rank needs to be G. So you can just grab this out of whatever you've already captured, or go down to one of the starter areas and grab a slime or material type, rank G, combine it with one of the other, and get yourself a bag of laughs. At this point, we're going to begin our synthesis. You're going to take a bag o laughs and a leery lout. You are going to combine them together to get a string fella. Make sure before you do the combination that it is a string fella. Now, we need to take the exoskeleton we made at the very beginning, and we're going to combine that with the string fella. That is going to give us the bam booligan. Make sure again that you are getting a bam booligan before you do the synthesis. Next, you're going to need to acquire a slime stack. To get a slime stack, you need to combine a slime type with a material type where either are F rank. This is very simple. Go see what's available in your areas. You might even have the materials waiting for you. At this point, you're going to take your Leary Lout, remember I told you to get a second one, and combine it with your slime tower. This will give you a slime knight. At this point, you need to take your bamboo again and synthesize it with the slime knight. This will give you a restless armor. Again, be careful, make sure you are selecting the restless armor. If you reach this point, congratulations. You will take a wandering armor and you will synthesize it with any material type. This will give you the option for a hunter mech. This is an amazing starter unit and we are going to build on top of this one particularly. This is the point in the synthesis where I tell you if you do not have mole hole, things are about to get much harder. But if you don't have mole hole, you can still do it. You just need to find the monsters in the world or craft back up like I did previously to make more copies. In this case, we need to have two restless armor. You can pick them up in the mole hole or craft them yourself. Skeletons are readily available in an early starter area. You're going to need two skeletons. You are going to combine your skeleton with your wandering armor to get a skeleton soldier. You are going to do this twice. You are going to need two skeleton soldiers. Now, if you wanted to, you could also get your second skeleton soldier from the mole hole, but I think it's easier just to craft them at the same time. The choice is yours, but you are going to need two skeleton soldiers. At this point, you are going to be synthesizing your two skeleton soldiers into a skeleton swordsman. Pretty good monster. You might want to keep this if you're not wanting to do this all in one go, but this is the next craft you have to do. You are going to take your hunter mech and mix it with that skeleton swordsman we just made. This will give you a killing machine. Please make sure you are selecting the killing machine. You can see it from the logo here because you could accidentally create another hunter mech, which is not what we are after. Please make sure it is a killing machine. You will need to go back to the beginner area and get yourself an ant guzzler. It is much easier to do this that way than it is to craft an ant guzzler. You can find them at the winter in the very starter zone. 
readily available. You are going to need to grab a basic slime. My suggestion is whenever you need a slime in this, that is later on if you're far enough into the game, make sure you get it from somewhere higher level just to save you the effort of needing to level it up, but this is a basic slime. You will combine the ant guzzler and the basic slime to get a feral slime. You can also get a feral slime with any slime and demonic type where either one is F. I think it's just easiest to grab them from the starter zones. It's a combination that works. You're going to need to catch yourself two bunnicorns. These are available at the starter location. I believe when I did this, I grabbed a couple of them because I think they could be used or some other combinations I did later on, but you need at least two at this point. I would gather three, but at least two. Napier is a synthesis monster. You need any demon and a material type. You're going to need them to be at either one F. This is where I will say that you should probably, hopefully, have some backup characters you've already done from playing the game. If not, you're going to have to specifically hunt out and get yourself one of those two types. To get a robber rabbit, you are going to need a demon type combined with one of the previous bunny corns that I told you to pick up. This will give you a robber rabbit. To get a spiked hair, we are going to be combining a napier and a regular bunny corn. This will give you spiked hair, and you will need this for the next synthesis we're going to do. We are going to take that purple rabbit we just made, and we're now going to combine it with that other paired slime that I can't remember the name of right now, and we're going to combine them into a wild slime. It, the, the other slime is exactly this with the yellow hair, so I didn't bother to memorize the name. That combination will give you a wild slime, which you are going to need for the next combo. You're going to take robber rabbit and wild slime at this point and synthesize them together to get yourself a rip rabbit. You're going to need to have a mischievous mole. You might already have one at this point because they're from the starter area, but that will be used in the next synthesis. Take the previous mole and combine it with ripped rabbit. This will give you a maniacal mole. Again, make sure you're picking the right mole, even though this one is very obvious due to the photo. You're going to want to pick up a blinkster from the food kingdom area. They're going to be inside that big tower with like the cakes or pancakes or whatever it's made out of because the combo to make this is really, really annoying, and this is just something you can skip right ahead and get yourself this magician here. A pixie is something you're going to need to get a hold of. This will need a slime G or a demon G, and combine those two together, and you get a pixie. Either one has to be G. Lamplings are from a very early area. Just go ahead and grab one. It's going to be way too annoying trying to mix one up. Just get one from your regular zone. Combine a Lampling and a Pixie, and you'll get a Picayune. This is going to be needed for the next synthesis. This is going to be a combination of the Picayune and that Blue Magician from previous that I can't remember the name of. Combine them together, and you'll get a Jinxer. It's basically a recoloring of that Blue Magician monster, so it should be very easy to pick out which one you want. At this point, you're going to take the Jinxter and you're going to combine it with the Maniacal Mole to get a Jugular Joker. Rank B monster, very nice if you want to keep this on your team for now, but we are going to move on with the synthesis. We are going to combine a Jugular Joker with a Killing Machine to create an Overkilling Machine. This is a rank A monster, very nice on your team if you want to stop here but we are going to continue on. She slimes are a slime that's available early on. Grab yourself one, preferably a higher leveled one, to save you the time of leveling it up. Next, you're going to need to acquire a behemoth slime. These are pretty easy to get. Use any slime type and dragon type where either one is E. You should have that available. If not, you can check your Monsterpedia, see what ones fit that level and go grab one. These are something that I already had filled out, so you should too. If you don't, you can look up how to do a behemoth slime online. I'm sure someone has a guide, but I believe it's much more difficult without having a dragon or a slime E rank and just combine it. A behemoth slime is a she slime combined with a behemoth slime that we just made. Just synthesize them together. Make sure you pick the big one, not the small one. 
To get a model slime, combine a basic, basic slime with any beast to get a model slime. To get a model she slime, you're going to combine the behemoth slime with a model slime, and you'll get this one here. You also have the option of a slime demon type combo where either one is C. I did not have this available, so I could not use that with, for example, the mole hole and find something to combine to make this. I had to do it from the previous method, which is why I'm giving that out because this is for earlier game. If you can skip the step, skip the step. For this one, you're going to need an exoskeleton. Combine that with the modeled she slime to get a hard boiled exoskeleton. Now you can get the exoskeleton again from the in quest main area thing. You'll probably be at this point. If not, if you have mole hole, you can get one out. Trust me, mole hole is going to be so important very shortly. Hard boiled exoskeleton combined with the bambooligan gives you a bamboogie man. Now, how do you get a bambooligan? You can craft it like I did previously. There is a quest area in the game later you can get it. Or mole hole. This is where mole hole is very important. Bamboogie man combined with a killing machine gets you an A3 G15. Yes, you're going to need another killing machine. How do you get a killing machine? You can go all the way back to when I originally made it and copy all of those steps or just get one from the mole hole. I obviously did mole hole. The Trominator is a combination of the overkilling machine we made a while back with an A3G15. We're so close to the end. This is a rank one monster. Really good stats if you want to stop here but there is more we can do. This is where mole hole is so important. I went to mole hole and picked up another A3 G15. Theoretically, you could make another one from scratch because the next monster we're going to make is going to require either a B-type dragon or a B-type material. A3 G15 is a B-type, so I went to mole hole and grabbed it to save myself so much time. At this point, combine either your B rank dragon or your B rank material with the other type to get an iron tortoise. Really solid defense. This is going to be so close to what we actually want. We are finally here. Take your Trominator and your iron tortoise and combine them to get yourself an uber killing machine. This is a rank S monster. I think this wasn't too bad due to mole hole. I think if you don't have mole hole, this is going to be a very difficult craft. And this is not where the monster chain ends for this one. This is just where I'm stopping in my journey, for now at least, to get an S rank monster. Because I am not very far in the game right now. But I did decide to do this grind. Hopefully this helps some people out. I know it's not going to be the best guide. I will put in the description a Japanese website that does have tools to help you through this. But honestly, I found it very confusing. I would have preferred to follow a video step by step like this. So I made one.